So you've bought your airbrush, now how do I hold it? So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I hold my Gravity Feed airbrush, this Iwata HPC S Eclipse, as well as my Sparmax SP575 Suction Feed airbrush. So the first thing I like to do when I'm airbrushing is wrap the hose around my wrist. This just prevents a bit of that drag and in my opinion, makes it more comfortable. So you can airbrush with your finger right on the end of the trigger and just pull back like that. That'll work perfectly for you, and I did that for many years. However, if you put your finger across the trigger a little bit, so aim for this groove to sit on the trigger there, then you'll find that you have a little bit more control. It might be more difficult to start with. You only have to make a little bit of movement rather than creating more movement in your finger and therefore starting to fatigue within this area of your hand. And full credit goes to Drew Blair for showing me this method of putting your finger over the trigger. Once you do get the feel for it, it will make airbrushing so much easier. Now with a bit of paint in my airbrush, you'll see how nicely that method works. You can see I've got my finger over the front. And I'm able to control it really nicely and super smooth. So even when I'm doing fine dots, keeping that trigger pressed down. And when I do fine stuff like this, I tend to use both hands to steady myself, especially if you can rest on the surface. Sometimes that's not always possible, but it does make a difference. So you can also use that double-handed tip if you wanna run lines. You can see it tip dried a bit on me here. If you want to learn how to eliminate tip drying, I'll pop a few links to videos in the description below. But the good thing about resting on your hand is that it stops you from moving away from the surface. And that way you get a consistent height, which will give you a consistent line, providing your speed is at the same speed all the way through. Whereas if I don't do that and I'm hovering, it's a lot harder, you could move in and out, and then you're gonna get a varied line. And now with the suction feed brush, same deal. I hook that hose around my wrist. I find it a bit more comfortable, but with the suction feed, you've got this jar, which I like to hold onto, and that'll give me a nice steady grip. And same thing, run your finger over the top of the trigger. You can see that there's no cup in the way, so it's much easier to have that finger resting over the front of that trigger like so. So now, using that suction feed, I spread some of my other fingers along the front of the airbrush. And again, holding with both hands, extremely nice to use. Super smooth. And Again, resting on the surface to do some fine dots. Went a bit heavy on that one. This one's a 0.5 mil. So a bit thicker than the Eclipse, which is a 0.35, but you can still get some nice fine dots out of it. No problem at all. And the way I'm holding it makes it really comfortable. So to fast track your learning, you can definitely check out our online airbrushing course at airbrushasylum.thinkific.com or you can continue to watch some of the other videos that I've got listed here. And until next time, go grab your airbrush, do some amazing artwork yourself, and I'll see you again very, very soon in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.